Hey everyone, Selena for Who is Jesus Today? How's it going out there? Let's talk a little bit about conflict. What's my view of conflict? But first, let me go to the Word of God. Okay, so I'm just going to say, let's just look at this uh, one verse here. So 2 Timothy 2.24 a servant of the Lord must not quarrel, right, argue, but must be kind to everyone, be able to teach, and be patient with difficult uh, people. Um, <laughs> patient, difficult people, a lot of difficult people, right? Are you one? Am I one? I think we all can be sometimes, at least to certain people we are difficult. Okay. So I'm looking at this same verse now, King James. <laughs> uh, difficult people that got to me. I, I, I actually have enjoyed dealing with difficult people. Uh, yes, and I'll tell you how and why a little bit. So Second uh, Timothy 2.24 And the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men apt to teach and patient and that's the word of the Lord so those are not any of our words um, that is the, the word of the Lord and that's what a, a lot of us even people who, who have not ever read the Bible um, if they are a people that like to avoid say unnecessary conflict they would agree and uh, come on a board why be argumentative for the sake of being argumentative now Let's keep this in context. A servant of the Lord. You're going about the kingdom of God doing the work of the Lord. Uh, you want to set an example of the love of God and being Christ-minded, right? Um, of course, at times, we all will find ourselves in conflict. Um, we're going to have to, at some point in life, come to circumstances where we have to uh, defend ourselves, defend Him those that we love, our children, grandchildren, right, our spouses, and to stand for the truth. And it is, uh, you know, it is uh, nearly impossible. We won't, we cannot go through life with absolutely no conflict. But when a person is quarrelsome, when a person uh, looks for arguments for the sake of having arguments, uh, if we have a spirit of, uh, say, a dissension and where we like to stir up things, again, for the sake of stirring up things, that is not the will of the Lord. So, um, if one just feels they need to just be in um, the same mode of ongoing conflict, then something is wrong within the spirit. There's a lack of peace. That appears to be a, a trouble-minded type of person. Um, and especially if we are those who are doing the things of God, and we are uh, teaching and ministering uh, to people, then we don't want to be people that are going about uh, quarrelsome and just creating conflict. See, I think there's a big a difference, many of you would agree, in creating conflict and then having to confront and to deal with or to manage or to eliminate conflict. So there is such a thing as anger management, right? Um, I put it uh, this way. For me personally, um, as much as I can avoid unnecessary conflict, that's what I try to do. I go for it. I, I just say it is better for overall health, uh, say mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. So I'm not looking for an argument for the sake of having an argument. At the same time, I don't mind having um, an argument that is worth having and yet still not of losing my respect or stepping out of the realm of the Holy Spirit. But, uh, 
none of us are going to always do everything right. So all of us are prone to and we have engaged in some kind of of conflict at some point in our lives that uh, we can actually lose ourselves, we can lose our temper, we can uh, say things that we wish we have uh, had never said and that's something that is going to happen. That's part of our humanity. But the Bible does instruct us the best way to go about our lives as people of the Lord who represent Christ is not to be people that are easily to quarrel and to start having um, all kinds of arguments and conflict. But sometimes we know that conflict knocks at our door and it can knock pretty hard. And so we have to engage with it and we have to deal with it. And so I'm all for, on a personal level here, Yes, I do believe that there's times I must deal with a conflict. I've worked in schools with uh, young people. I've worked with adults in education. And there's uh, times when, uh, you know, uh, someone may even uh, dispute that you know what you're talking about. You see? And so already you're being pulled into a conflict. And there's now a reason for you to stand up in your own defense if you have to. And so I'm all for one, uh, say, defending themselves and defending others in a right way when it's called for. Because to run from all types of conflict also becomes very uh, problematic, unsafe, unhealthy. And there's a times when we need to really talk about it and get it out of our system so that we don't grow into people who hold on to grudges and bitterness, right? So I, in the Bible even lets us know that, you know, even don't let the sun go down, right, um, with our anger. There are a times when even when you lose yourself and your temper, and it, say, lasts for a few a minutes or a day or less, and you just you get it out of you, you apologize, and you move on. That is certainly much better than holding on to grudges and bitterness and malice, which can lead to all other types of evil manifestations. So for me, I take to heart God's word that to really be the representative of Christ that I need to be to the world. I need to consider my uh, character, how I uh, uh, handle uh, people and situations, how I handle uh, difficult uh, people, how I even allow uh, people uh, to handle me. And so I want to uh, uh, take this word to heart um, to avoid, I mean, as much as I can, to avoid having a quarrels and and having an argument just to have an argument no I really do not encourage and I am not one that likes to be argumentative but I also I do love debate I love a good debate from time to time uh, and I don't think that's the same as just of course trying to create conflict for the sake of conflict but you know uh, people who are very conflicting in themselves um, will go about and they will manifest this and they will uh, create conflict. Uh, when one has a, a troubled soul, they can create conflict. Because it's much deeper than the conflict on the surface, the things that they're saying or doing, but it's what's deeply inside. So if anyone out there today, if you feel well, you know, um, maybe you... Uh, find yourself in arguments more than you feel that you want to be. You know it's not the best for you. It's not healthy. Uh, give it to God, you know, because it's much uh, deeper than the argument. The argument is a lot of time is the surface. That's just a manifestation of something that is troubling us on a much, a much a deeper uh, level. And certainly when we are in uh, relationships, right, with uh, spouses and 
of family and friends, that's often too where these issues come of conflict. So the Holy Spirit, I am uh, uh, fully convinced, will guide you and me because it certainly has. The Holy Spirit is our guide. But you have to be open and look to the Holy Spirit. Allow the Holy Spirit, I know it will guide you and me on how to assess and deal with conflicting issues in our lives, personally, and others. So am I one that likes to avoid all a conflict? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. And I am open to engage in a conflict uh, depending on the type. Is it really worth? Is it really worth it? I do not like to uh, get involved with situations and battles that uh, I should not be getting involved with, you know. And again, it's, it's the Holy Spirit, say, guiding me. I like to choose my battles also carefully. And I want God to choose my battles. Because if God's chosen the battle, then guess what? You're in the battle. You're, you are drafted. And, and the only thing you have to do is to put on the whole armor of God and trust He's going to get you through this time of battle. And it's going to involve some conflicts. And whoever you have to actually deal with, God's going uh, to show you how to handle it. But can you avoid all a conflict and live in this world? Uh, I say that is not that is not possible at all. But it's how we handle ourselves and how we uh, approach things, how how we react. And uh, I want to be a person also who can bring about some resolution as well. So sometimes a good argument is needed to open up things right and to bring the healing that's needed but that is very uh, a different from just being those who look to start stuff and quarrels just because some people need to and that's a sign that one is is troubled within and there's a place for that in God right you can tap into the Prince of Peace. And if you are a follower of Christ and you know well, you know, it's my weakness to just kind of start stuff and argue over things that are just really petty. I'll give that to Christ. We're not all in the same places, right? So some people are more prone to that than others. Um, if, if, if they're not uh, prone to that, they're prone to something else. But at any rate, um, on this uh, channel, um, I am open to debate and conflict uh, if it should occur. Uh, there are some things I will just ignore and dismiss because I don't feel sometimes it's really worth engaging in. Um, yeah. But at any rate, um, I'm open to conflict. Yeah, with the years of customer service, <laughs> being cursed out for things that wasn't my fault. Yeah, you know. Um, with that, I also, and working in schools, de-escalation. So I would aim to de-escalate even before I may engage in the conflict. You see, I kind of enjoy doing that. So I was just uh, wanting to share some little uh, things again, opening up some, some being a little more uh, transparent here um, in regards to what is my approach or attitude uh, toward the issues of conflict. I think it's quite obvious um, that I would rather not. <laughs> but if I have to, I will and trust God to lead me to do it the right way. So those are my thoughts today. To all of you out there, I want to encourage you though to be mindful if you are today in the Lord that you are representing Christ. And so the world gets an idea of who is Jesus by 
observing those who say they represent Jesus. Okay? Just let's uh, keep that in mind. And you can like and subscribe. Until next time, Shalom.